John Peter Bean was born on January 8, 1984. He was a regular old Joe in, in the land of Great Britain. A man who worships the Queen while at the same time usually plays PC only games. A critic of every game journalist, better than any game journalist of their time. He is a popular YouTuber with over almost 100 million subscribers and a fan base that loves him dearly. Despite being born in the UK, he does not give two shits about what's the stereotype what it isn't. He was a handsome man, got married, had a child, everything was looking well in the world. He started to become popular when he started making videos for World of Warcraft and also a podcast. That's when he became the most popular YouTuber ever. He will later on branch out to other products, like other indie games, and occasionally new stuff to broaden his market. He was also a critic of Nintendo, criticized some of their stuff and bad behavior for the time, and roughly so, while trying to be as respectful as possible. He was more a PC gamer than a Nintendo fan, but that's understandable. Ironic, given that he, he and Wada both die of ass cancer, so it makes it a whole lot worse. And yes, he, he has died this year on May 24, 2018. He, he was a good man for his time. He respects a lot of people. He was also involved with the infamous gamer game movement, which let's just say if you're on either side of the movement, anti or pro, it, it, it's best not to talk about it right now with the recent demographic stuff, but beyond that, he was more of the pro than the anti, and believed social justice the old ways more than what modern social justice warriors believe in, which is basically harassing, stealing, and possibly raping. I'm not sure about that, but he was a critic who criticized other people, from your Aeneas Arkeesians to your Soy Quins. And I think even Obama, but I, I don't think he cares about American politics. He was not a fan of Donald Trump, but then again, at the time, he was next to the lesser of two evils, Hillary Clinton, and, and both of them were like controversial due to their political stance and different reasons. Beyond that, I, I think he was a good man. Well, well, I'm not much of a hardcore fan like any others online. I, I think he was a, a good man for his heart. Well, his behavior on Twitter can be strange to call someone to die of cancer. Uh, ironically, bite him in the butt years later when he did have cancer, but at the time he didn't know he had cancer. And especially in the UK where half the percent of people die of ass cancer, so it, it's not a good light for him to actually use the word cancer. Beyond that, he was a good spirit. He was a good man. He helped many gamers. He even helped some gamer out on the situation, like depression, and, and prevented one from committing suicide. He's a good man. He, he even helped influence other YouTubers to make their own YouTube accounts. Without him, they, they probably wouldn't even exist, and their lives wouldn't have been meaningless without him. Like, what can I say about this guy? I, I hope when he does more videos in the afterlife, He'll probably talk to Iwata about stuff. Maybe they can have some nice biscuits and crumpets to have. I don't. I don't know. Like they're they're both gamers. I, I think they could talk about stuff in their lives personally. But yeah, John Peter Bean, wherever you are, like either in the afterlife or otherwise in another life, I want you to know that that you're in good spirits. You're a great man. And, and may the gods take care of you. While well, Anonymous has some government spies just to expose their lies. Amen to that. And <coughs> also, re remember that you're a cool bean. Uh, ironically, your last name's spelled bean, but it's not like B E A N. But uh, I'll, I'll let it slide. Re remember this, man. You deserve a comeback to our someday. Like, in another life, maybe you'll come back to us, but in the meantime, I, I hope you have more adventures in the afterlife, my friend. Stay safe.